Are you thinking about getting a Boston Terrier, but you want to know if they're affectionate? <laughs> In this video, I'm going to talk about are Boston Terriers affectionate or not, as well as be sure to stay till the end because I'm going to give you six tips on how you can connect with your dog better. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. If you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. This is Bella, my Boston Terrier of over 10 years. The short answer is yes, absolutely Boston Terriers are affectionate. I went ahead and pulled the Boston Terrier Society Facebook group. Whenever I asked them, is your Boston Terrier affectionate? There were 161 votes and 99% of them said, yes, absolutely, their Boston Terrier is affectionate. Another survey that I had done, I had done this last year, but I went ahead and surveyed 50 Boston Terrier owners. It was an in-depth survey. I'll, I'll go ahead and leave the results in the show notes below so you can check it out. I asked them, I think it was around 30 questions, but one of them was, does your Boston Terrier like to cuddle? And 94% out of those 50 said, yes, they do. This is not only an affectionate dog breed, but they're cuddlers too. They wanna to be by your side. You're sitting on the couch. They wanna be right there next to you. Bella here, she likes to be next to us, but she is independent. She likes her alone time. I wanna say almost a majority of the day. Whenever she's not in her bed, she wants to be right next to us. She either wants to go on walks, she wants to be cuddling, she wants us to pet her, things like that. The big three signs of affection that I see from Bella is obviously cuddling on the couch, licking us, bringing her her toys. She only has a couple of toys. Whenever she does, you know it's time to play. So once again, if you're thinking about getting a dog and you want an affectionate dog breed, a Boston Terrier is perfect for you. However, if you're someone who wants a dog that's completely independent, not a big cuddler, I wouldn't recommend this dog breed for you. Hey, if you're liking this video and you want to learn more about Boston Terriers, be sure to hit like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get the latest. The next thing that I want to cover are basically six tips to help you develop a deeper connection with your dog. So the very first one is training. And the reason why is because you're getting to the level where you're actually taking the time to teach your dog to set, stay, those type of basic dog commands. You're, you have to connect. There's no way you cannot connect by training your dog. And the reason why is because you're taking the time and spending time with your animal. Every time it does something right, you're rewarding it. And Boston's love that. They're an intelligent dog breed and they're eager to please. So every time they do something right, they actually love it. Tip number two, feeding your dog by hand. This is a tip that I picked up from Caesar Milan. Basically I, the idea of, you know, whoever feeds you, you're gonna enjoy and have a deeper connection with them. And he actually recommends grabbing the dog food by hand and feeding it to them. Now, full disclosure, I've only done this a few times. My two and a half year old loves to do it. If you wanna build a deeper connection, that is one way you can do it. Tip number three is taking your dog for a walk. If you live in a household, you know, where there's five members and you want that dog to have a deeper connection with you, you personally taking it for a walk is gonna help build that bond. Tip number four kind of goes in with tip number three, but playing with your dog. Once again, if you live in a large household, you being the one that actually plays with it is going to develop that bond. Tip number five, eye contact. I remember growing up hearing, you know, if you make eye contact with a dog, they could bite you in the face. I've never had that experience with Bella. Maybe because she's my dog, I wouldn't recommend doing this to other dogs, but I think it does build a deeper connection. Just beware if you're doing it with a Boston, they're going to lick you in the face. Tip number six, my final tip, napping with your dog. This 100% builds a deeper bond because Dogs, just like humans, I can't remember where I read this study, but it's in an article that I wrote and I'll put it in the show notes below. But whenever dogs touch other dogs, dogs touch other humans, it releases oxytocin in their system. It's exactly what humans do as well. Whenever humans touch one another, oxytocin is released and this helps build that bond. New mothers can relate to you whenever they're touching a the child, they do skin to skin. That's the oxytocin releasing, I don't know the science behind it, but anyways, releasing that oxytocin helps build the bond. Those are my six tips if you wanna build that deeper connection with your dog. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you were someone on the fence who was thinking about getting a Boston Terrier, but you wanted to know if they're an affectionate dog breed, the answer is yes. They love to cuddle as well. And if you wanna build that deeper bond, follow those six tips that I recommended. That's gonna help you. Question of the day, what tips do you have on building a deeper bond with your dog? 
if you've owned a dog before, just put it in the comments below. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. And I'm sure other people who are checking out this video would love to see what you have to say. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston. Thank you.